boys and girls, I'm Miss Michelle and this is Miss Caitlin. Today is such a wonderful day. Do you know why? It's a wonderful day because we get to be together. And you're just in time too. We really need your help finding our story objects. The objects help us tell the Bible story. In just a little bit, we can hop to it and find them together. Today's true Bible story is going to teach us that Jesus says, follow me. That's our big idea for the day. Let's say it together. Jesus says, follow me. It's true. Jesus says, follow me. In fact, that's what today's memory verse tells us. Let me teach it to you. Come and follow me, Jesus said. Matthew 4, 19. Let's do it together. Sounds good. Come and follow me, Jesus said. Matthew 4, 19. Great job, guys. It's time for worship now. Let's sing and dance and praise God. I know you care about me And I know you really love me Jesus, you show me when You show me patience you show me kindness And now I know I can do the same Loving everyone in the same way Jesus, you showed me that I can be patient, I can be kind, yeah So I will give your love Everywhere to everyone You love me and I love you and I can share your love with everyone That's what makes you love so, so, so amazing You love me and I love you and I can share your love with everyone That's what makes you love so, so, so amazing I know you care about me And I know you really love me Jesus, you show me when You show me patience, you show me kindness
One, two, three. Dig the hole right under me. Slowly, I start sinking down until I'm sitting on the ground. Wow, nice job. I think you're ready for the Bible story now. But before we get started, I think we need to put on our pay attention glasses. Keeps her on tight. Good job. Get our listening ears on. Turn them all the way up. Are they straight? Yeah. Alrighty then. On three, we're going to zip, lock, and button. Ready? One, two, three. Zip, lock, and button. And now let's get our hearts ready by praying. God, we love you so much. Help us to pay attention and learn from you during our story today. Amen. Does anyone remember our new friend from last week? Her name is Kenzie the Kangaroo. Can you all wave and say hi, Kenzie? Hi, Kenzie. You might be wondering why Kenzie looks so sad. Mm -hmm. You see, just like last week, she had our story object in her kangaroo pouch. The objects help us tell the Bible story. She hopped all the way to our room here at church. But when she got here, the story objects fell out and now they're lost. Mm, but that's okay. You kids are good at finding things. Let me see your pretend binoculars. Very cool. Mm -hmm. We can use our pretend binoculars to look around the room and help Kenzie find all the lost story objects while we tell the Bible story. I'll bet when we find all the lost objects, Kenzie will be happy again. Yeah. If you're ready to get started, let's give Kenzie two big thumbs up. Great. First, let's get our Bible out of the super duper Bible box. Then we can look for the missing story objects. We need your help getting the Bible out, though. We need to say our special Bible words together. Repeat these special words after me. It's true. It's true. The Bible is true. It's true. It's true. The Bible is true. Let's look for our first story object. Use your pretend binoculars to look for a walking stick. Hmm, hmm a walking stick. Oh, I think they found it. Uh, they did. Good job, guys. Good eyes. In the Bible, in the book of Luke, two of Jesus' followers were walking and talking. Suddenly, Jesus appeared next to them. But the two men didn't know that this was Jesus. Jesus asked the two men, what are you guys talking about? Let's look for our next story object. Let's pretend to put our binoculars on and look for a cross. Hmm, a cross. Hmm. Oh, I see one. I see it too. The man said, haven't you heard? Jesus was killed on a cross. He said early this morning, some woman went to the tomb to see his body. But the tomb was empty. An angel told them that Jesus had died. But now he's alive. Let's look for our next story object. Use your pretend binoculars to look for a loaf of bread. Hmm. A loaf of bread. Do you see it? I do. Good job, you guys. Good job. That night, Jesus ate dinner with the two men. He took bread and thanked God for it. Then he broke off pieces and gave it to them. Suddenly, God made the men realize who they were eating with. It was Jesus. He was alive. On the count of three, let's shout hooray. One, two, three. Hooray! Right then, Jesus disappeared. Let's look for our next story object. You to pretend binoculars and look for a white sheet. Hmm, a white sheet. I oh. found it. Yep, I did too. Right here. The disciples thought Jesus was dead, so they yelled, It's a ghost! But Jesus said, I'm not a ghost. Look at my hands and my feet. Touch me and see me. It's really me. Let's look for our next story object. Use our pretend binoculars for a balloon. Hmm, a balloon. Hmm, oh, I see it right here. 
Jesus walked with his disciples to a field, then suddenly he rose up into heaven. He floated higher and higher and higher until they couldn't see him anymore. The disciples were so amazed that they praised Jesus. Hey, look, it's our friend Kenzie. He's so happy that we found the story objects and told the Bible story. In today's True Bible Story, the disciples watched as Jesus was taken up into heaven. The disciples were so amazed and they praised Jesus. I have an idea. Let's praise Jesus like the disciples did. When I say Jesus is alive, I want you to hop up and down like Kenzie the kangaroo and shout, hooray for Jesus. Then when I say freeze, you have to freeze in place. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. Hooray for Jesus. Hooray for Jesus. Hooray for Jesus. Freeze. Good job. Jesus is alive. Hooray for Jesus. Hooray for Jesus. Hooray. Freeze. Jesus is alive. Hooray for Jesus. Hooray for Jesus. Hooray for Jesus. Freeze. Good job, you guys. It's true. Jesus loves you so much that he died on the cross for your sins. But now he's alive and in heaven. If you love and follow Jesus, you can live with him forever in heaven, too. Jesus wants you to live with him in heaven. That's why he says, follow me. Hey, that's our big idea for today. I think we should tell it to our parents when we see them. But maybe we should practice first. Hmm, well, we could practice telling Topher the Gopher. Let's see if we can find him. Again, you guys, he's sound asleep, and I think we should wake him up. And when he wakes up, we can tell him, Jesus says, follow me. On the count of three, let's all yell, Tober the gopher, wake up, wake up. One, two, three. Tober the gopher, wake up, wake up. Hey, what's the big idea? Jesus says, follow me. Wow, that is a big idea. Thanks for telling me. Bye. Let's all wave to Topher. Let's say a prayer together and tell Jesus we want to follow him. Dear Jesus, dear Jesus, I'm so happy that you are alive. I'm so happy that you are alive. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I want to follow you. I want to follow you. And live with you forever in heaven. And live with you forever in heaven. Amen. Amen. It's time for our blessing now. So let's hold your hands to receive it. Children, may you always remember that Jesus is alive. 